2024 Mercedes-Benz GLS class starting at 88150 Whether you're shuttling your heirs to boarding school or hauling home a restock of your wine cellar, the 2024 Mercedes-Benz GLS class SUV has the space and refinement for such duties. While GLS 450 models come with a smooth running 375 horsepower turbocharged inline six, badge snobs will want to go for the more powerful five and 10 hopper GLS 580, which boasts a twin turbo V8 engine. The GLS is so refined on the road, its off-road capability is a surprising and welcome trait. Mercedes has made sure it's able to tackle more obstacles than most buyers could dream of taking on. The air suspension can raise for more ground clearance. There are clever all-wheel drive features to help keep things going in the right direction. And there's even available underbody protection to shield the GLS's sensitive bits when navigating over rocks and ruts. On the road, the GLS's agility and comfortable ride are its most satisfying characteristics. Its top body control is on par with the BMW X7 and best that of rivals such as the Land Rover Range Rover and the Lincoln Navigator. What's new for 2024? Mercedes has given the GLS a styling refresh for 2024 that includes an updated grille design, a reworked front bumper, new LED taillights, a new steering wheel, and fresh interior color scheme. The GLS 450's six-cylinder powertrain gets a boost to 375 horsepower, while the V8-powered GLS 580 now boasts 510 ponies. That model can now also be had with a new off-road engineering package, which adds underbody protection and a revised air suspension that can raise the SUV an additional 1.2 inches for better ground clearance. Pricing and which one to buy. The price of the 2024 Mercedes-Benz GLS class starts at $88,150 and goes up to $113,150 depending on the trim and options. The GLS 450's turbocharged inline six provides plenty of power and is just as smooth as the GLS 580's V8. So we'd stick with that and put the extra dough towards some options. All models come standard with an air suspension, but Mercedes also offers a trick system called E-Active Body Control. It utilizes a forward-facing camera to scan for bumps and adjust the suspension accordingly, so riders will feel less of the road's imperfections. It's a cool technology, but expensive, and we think most buyers will find the standard setup does a fine job. Fuel economy and real-world MPG. The EPA fuel economy estimates for the GLS class aren't great. The GLS 450 earns 18 mount Pidgey in the city, 23 mount on the highway, and 20 mount combined. The GLS 580 does worse, with 16 mount PG, 21 MP, and 18 mount PG, respectively. In our real-world testing, the GLS 450 performed a little better than its rating, managing 24 mount PG on our 75 miles per hour highway test. The GLS 580 returned a dismal 18 mount PG in the same test. If fuel economy is a priority for you, the BMW X7 will be a better choice in the luxury SUV department. A six-cylinder X7 xDrive 40i managed an impressive 28 mile PG in our highway test. 